Hi guys, it's Jane here. I am currently a final year student at the Hague University and also a student ambassador for the study in Holland team. Today, the topic is going to be about what do you need to know about the orientation year visa if you are a young graduate or a scientific researcher uh, seeking to live and work in the Netherlands, the orientation year visa is an option for you. Let's get started. So the first question is who is qualified for the Dutch orientation year visa? As most of you have already know, uh, if you complete a study in the Netherlands for higher education, you are mostly certainly qualified for the Dutch orientation year visa. However, if you didn't complete your study in the Netherlands, you are still uh, able to be qualified for the Dutch orientation year visa if you are you have obtained a master degree in the context of uh, Erasmus Mundus uh, master course or you obtain a master or PhD degree so no bachelor if uh, from a university that falls into this ranking list which are Time Higher Education World University Rankings, QS World uh, University Rankings, Academic Rankings of World University. So at the moment uh, that uh, you graduate, your university has to fall in the list in the top of 200 university. The question number two is that how can I apply for the orientation year visa? You can submit the application online if you live in the Netherlands and currently have a valid resident permit. You can uh, uh, submit your application through your DGD. However, if you no longer live in the Netherlands, you are uh, living abroad now, you probably need an MVV which is the provisional resident permit that allow you to enter the Netherlands and stay for 90 days. When the MVV is granted to you, you would automatically have a valid uh, resident permit. And then you can apply for the orientation year visa. Question number three, how many orientation year visa can I apply for? So within three years after your graduations, you can apply for the orientation year visa once. And during your orientation year visa, you need to find uh, an employer who is a recognized IND sponsor that can uh, sponsor your stay. So if you cannot find a job, before the orientation year visa is due, you need to return home. So this visa is not extendable, it only lasts for one year and uh, you can apply for it once. Uh, however, you can apply for another orientation year visa if you pursue another study. Question number four, when does the orientation year start? So the orientation year starts on the date that you submit the application for the orientation year visa. It does not start uh, when you receive the visa, but it was actually on the date that you submit the application. Question number five, what can I do during the orientation year? You have free access to the Dutch labor market without restrictions during your orientation year. Uh, you can do uh, any jobs, including internships, uh, either paid or unpaid during orientation year. You can work as a freelancer or start your own company if you want. Question number six, what is the income requirement? So not only do you need to find an employer who is a recognized sponsor by the Dutch Immigration Authority, your salary also needs to meet the requirements. Your gross, uh, the minimum of your gross salary has to match the reduced salary criterion. The minimum income of yours uh, as a orientation year person is uh, 2,423 euro gross per month. This reduced salary criterion uh, make you more attractive for a company to hire you. And also, uh, if you found a job during your orientation year, this reduced salary criterion uh, always follows, even if you change employer. 
Um, in some case that uh, there are some of my friends uh, already uh, found a job after they finish their study and they don't need to take out the orientation year visa, the reduced salary criterion is still applied to you. Guys, that is the end of this video. If you have further questions, you can pop down in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. I'll see you in the next video.